really big part of uh, targeting kingfish is getting your burley um, working. Uh, big shout out to Southern Baits who uh, are coming right now with the uh, both bullet tuna and the um, the pilchards. We've got the uh, salmon burley rolling down there, and uh, I think what we've got a school of kawaii at our feet right now. Oh, that is amazing. And they are feeding. <laughs> Got one on the uh, stick week. Okay, try and bring them over this way. Oh, I don't know if this one's keeper. We'll keep we'll let this one go, I think. Yep. Ooh, the dog bites. Ooh. Go for it, don't get This fella back to live in today. Nice little kingy. So we've got us a nice little honey uh, kawaii live bait. Target, of course, is kingfish. And this is the, uh, the rig we're using for slide baiting. Uh, slide beating clips so they can only go one way. And hopefully, then it's oh, Come on, buddy. Come on, eat it. Oh. Yep, film that. Yep. especially if you're targeting something. Today, we're, all we're wanting to do is try and target big fish. So we were fishing for the uh, slide baiting rig, which you would have seen me setting up earlier. Um, down the end, I've got a, a live bait sitting under a balloon. Beautiful little uh, yellow tail uh, back. In the corner there, I've got a ledger rig. And that's got a uh, live bait sitting on there as well. And uh, this is the slide bait. Slide bait, slide bait.
out here and um, we've been just catching our live bait. The first thing you want to make sure you do when you're out targeting kingfish um, is get liveies in the tank. Now, we've got a tank over there that we'll show you very, very soon full of some beautiful sized kawaii. And um, as you can see, we've got enough now that we're able to now start using it for snapper baits. And um, I don't know about you, but this fillet here is screaming out to me saying snapper bait. Okay, so we're going to whack some of these out there and see if there's any snapper around. Them. Alright, so um, this is the rig that's been doing the damage for us today. It's just a uh, single hook on a um, kind of ledge rig setup. Um, and this is how I'm going to bait up. I'm going to use a piece of uh, ballyhoo. I'm going to go straight through the eyes. Because it's a thin bait, I'm going to loop that through, bring it back. And then think, put that through there like that. Now it's important that your recurve or your your the gape or the point of the hook is well exposed, so that when that fish comes in to get it, he's going to hit the point of that hook, and hopefully he's going to get caught. And you're going to bring him in so that you can have him for dinner. Now, when you're using bait that have um, been frozen and um, been thawed out, bait cotton can be really really handy. So. Um, few times yeah. All right. That's going to hit the water. It's going to start to move up and hopefully start wobbling in the uh and the currents and a moocher is going to come through and eat them and uh, later on we'll put them on the table and eat them ourselves so yeah it's a simple rig to use when you're on an area fishing that's um, got a lot of reef out there um, that you're getting snagged up typically recurve hook is the other key if you use a recurve hook it's not as likely to get snagged up in the weed and the rocks and all of that sort of thing so yeah Get your baits out there, put them out in good quality and, and, and present them well and you get a better shot at hooking up on those fish. So, Choice. so um, tonight this is uh, just a little bit of a glimpse into the rig that we're using. Um, this is typically my go-to rig when I'm surf casting, targeting snapper. Uh, it's your poly rig, your long cast rig as it's known as well. Um, basically I'm using 50 pound as my main line. You got your swivel um, down the bottom, the breakout sinker, vital when you're fishing on the sand. Just means that if there's current around, this is going to find the ground and it's going to stay where you aim it. Um, out front of you, this is the impact shield. This basically means that when you bait up, like so, you slide that under there. When you cast, everything is streamlined. It's going to fly through the air with no trouble at all. Once it hits the water, that's going to release, like so sit out in the current and wait for a big snapper to come and bite them up so that's the rig that we're using and uh, it's doing the damage we've got three snapper in the bin tonight um, one of which is giving three kilo a nudge and then uh, hopefully we're going to tuck into a few more before the night's out so there's some hungry mouths at home and uh, if you're anything like me yep I love what I do I love fishing I love getting out into it and doing it I also love a good feed of fish later on so hopefully we uh, can tuck into some, some more action so you guys can enjoy it but uh, stay tuned and uh, hey look subscribe like the like the page and uh, keep in touch we'll definitely do our best to get you on the fish awesome